Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you how to add custom fields to your WooCommerce product page. Well friends, in this video training, we will learn how to install product add-ons for WooCommerce plugin, how to create a custom product fields form, how to edit a product or create a product and select a custom field form. And finally, we will learn how to configure the settings. So, let's get to be started. Here, I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. So, let's start with the step number one, how to install product add-ons for WooCommerce plugin. Well, friends, to install the plugin, navigate to plugins. Here you can see and click on add new. Here goes the search box of the plugin and I'm going to search for product add-ons for WooCommerce. And I have selected this plugin, product add-ons for WooCommerce by AcroWebs. To install this plugin, click on install now button. Click activate. Here you can see WooCommerce custom product add-ons plugin is installed and activated. And here goes create forms and settings. Create forms means you can add a group of fields and you can assign the form to any product. We will learn it. Here you can see products and here you can see a new menu, custom product add-on. If I click on it, it will send you here. Here you can see a button, add new form. Just click here, add new form. And here goes a form builder. Using this form builder, you can add custom fields to your WooCommerce product. I'm going to name it custom t-shirt. And I'm going to hit publish. Now it's our time to add fields. Here you can see on the right side, we have 11 types of fields. So start adding the first one text field. Just drag it and drop here. And here you can see a pencil icon. Just click on it to edit the field. The first option is level. That means the level of the field. And I'm going to type it brand name. Okay. And here you can see placeholder. You can add placeholder and any class name and any text or name. Okay. And you can add default value. Okay and type you can change the type of this field and i have selected text field okay and you can assign maximum length of this field okay i'm happy with it just click on this close and here it is and here you can see text area if you want to get text from your customers you can add it and select option here goes radio group I'm just going to drag and drop here. Click over here. And here goes the name. I'm going to type gender. First option, male. Second option, female. Third option, others. Okay. Just click close. And here you can see date field. I'm going to add this field as a delivery time or delivery date. Okay, I'm going to click here and type delivery date. Okay. And friend, I forgot to mention here is a checkbox. If you click on it, then this field will be required. At the same time, click over here and check this box then this field will be required and the finally as it is for t-shirt i'm going to ask the color color picker click here and record i'm going to type choose color and finally click over here so i'm going to add four custom fields for any t-shirt and now I'm going to hit update 
so we could successfully complete the step number two now let's move on to step number three edit or add a new product and assign this custom field to that product okay here you can see all products and i'm going to look for a t-shirt here it is let's edit this one just click edit and let me preview this product here it is you can see we don't have any special or custom fields here and now i'm going to edit this product and if i scroll down here you can see custom product option just click on it and here you can see we have a form and that is custom t-shirt and i'm going to select this hit update and you will see similar functionality if you would like to create a new product and now if i come over here at this product single page and i'm going to refresh this page now here you can see some custom fields brand name say for example if anyone or any corporate company would like to order for several t-shirts then they can just uh, input the brand name or brand slogan they can select the gender and they can select the delivery time and they can select the color okay that's all and then you will get these options from the customers brand name Teams code okay now we have completed step number three we edited a product and select the custom field form let's see step number four how we can configure the settings well friends to configure the settings we'll have to go to all install plugins just from plugins click on on install plugins and here you can see settings just click on it and here goes WooCommerce custom field add-on setting option and display custom fields data in show card in checkout and in order i'm going to check all of this and here goes a condition if a product has assigned multiple forms it will be ordered or loaded based on the create date okay check it hide empty fields in the card okay here you can see i have selected all the fields but if i leave this blank then this field option will be hidden okay check it and hit save changes very simple setting options hit save changes now i'm here and this time i'm going to click add to cart button just click add to cart and here you can see the product has been added to cart I'm going to click view card and friends here you can see the product on the card page and it shows all the options brand name gender delivery date and choose color okay and if I just proceed the checkout click on proceed checkout in the checkout page you can also see the custom field options okay and if i could place order i'm going to quickly fill up this form okay now i'm going to click place order okay it's done let me show you the order in the back end woocommerce and orders just click on orders and here you can see a new order just processing i'm going to click view and in the order form you can also see the field data from your customer okay well friends this is the end of this training i believe you could understand how to add custom fields to your woocommerce product and get custom data from your customer that's all thank you for watching Hope this video helped you.
and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get new videos on wordpress